Hi YouTube. Hey, today is the day that we are going to cut out my window. So follow us along. This is my high tech hole location method. Oh, I like it. Uh oh. Oh, what I is... hit a rivet right there. Of course! Rosie oh. the Riveter put a rivet there. Second one in. Oh, yeah. There's one, in, and you're going to get cut through the second one up there, too. Well, that would have been in the hole. That's going to come. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Just change sides here. It's just inside of that sucker. Look at that. Portal. We can just cut it off. So yeah, that's what we hit drilling inside. Them stainless rivets are tough, people. <laughs> <laughs> really tough. You do what you do for amusement, Chris. What can I tell you? <laughs> You're easily entertained. <laughs> so, there's where my window's going. And it's about an even, an even stair step, isn't it? Yeah, it'll look kind of, kind of cool, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, this was too golden not to share. We started smoking. Safety glasses are on! We started smoking. check no I don't think so if so I'll hold the blanket up there set on those. If I had rubber ones, I'd use it, but I don't. But these wooden blocks will work just fine to cushion it. Set on those wooden blocks and then it'll touch up against the foam, the foam ceiling tape when it's all done. Nice. So we're just primering that raw edge, right? That yep. we cut? Yep. Just taking off the primer in where we cut it there and finish Job, paint jobs can I go over top of it? Yeah, but it just covers up that wrong <clears throat> Yeah, so it don't rest. Okay, what do we have going on now, baby? Well, now we got this setting tape. That stuff is sticky stuff too, huh? Yeah. And it's a sixteenth thick by three eighths wide. Got a nice, clean, fresh painted surface there to stick it on. It's all cleaned up. So the window will stick to it. Oh. 
right, and I'm gonna glue these guys down so they don't slide off. And what kind of caulk are we using? Just silicone, black silicone. Silicone too is my favorite one. Okay, so those are the stops for the glass. The glass can set on those and the wood blocks cushion it from the metal. You could use rubber blocks there too. So now all we gotta do is set the window in and push it up to that tape and it'll be in there. So these are stepped down so that the window frame can still come up there. But well, once you peel this stuff off, you want to be careful. Because when the glass touches that, it's a one-way ticket. We were back in the glass shop. We have our little pump up suction cups on here. And be no problem. All right, if you planned this out right, we even got our little. Oh, they even put this. When I asked them to cut it out that way, if they Sweet. could. Sweet. All right, so this is the tricky part here. The moment of truth. Since we just got to get. Up on those little blocks. And then that's where these guys come in. And push it in. So it looks good over there, huh? I don't know. I'm on the camera. Yeah. Woo! Good. Oh my gosh, we have a window, people. Super nice. So now all we gotta do is put a couple screws in there. Pilot holes going in for the window frame. Right? Yep. Like that. I think Randy is liking my chair there. Handy place to sit down. ready for the, the paneling will go on and then the trim will go around it. And if we ever have to replace it, we can just pull, it, pull off the trim, pull out these screws, slide that stuff out, and it's all reversible. Pretty sweet. So after we get the exterior of the bus painted, I'll just run a small bead of silicone on the outside around that, on top of that foam. Just make a nice clean little bead and that'll be a lot of tape. Oh, this is such a nice addition. You've been wondering. Now we got the seat position, we got the window. So the other thing that is so cool about this is when you're sitting over here on the couch, look at that window that just got opened up. Okay guys, we thought long and hard about the placement of that window and I am totally loving it. I think it's gonna work just awesome. So um, we are so grateful for all of your support and the love that we feel from all of you guys and your comments and stuff. So um, just know that we love sharing the journey with you all and we will just catch you in the next one. Love to you all, bye.